car's gonna be parked Don't outside you your house! <laughs> there you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great! Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no, nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Okay. Uh, Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John, You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me. I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck. And we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruined everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear, poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. Oh my word, Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right-wing. One can but hope. Liberal in the bedroom. Conservative at the border, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> I love this country. Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? Oh, my giddy aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. This must be second nature. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corsets. Uh... Seems rude not to follow him through the window. Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me your biggest fan! Uh -oh. no! Fucking crazy! Oh, it's Get off me. Natalie! You're good to go! Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting! Nut jobs. Napoli 
abducted in bizarre kidnapping. Want to listen to private phone sex calls? Join the war on terror. Al DiNapoli has been abducted following a high-speed chase through Los Santos that didn't just end in a hospital. It went through the hospital and out the other side. The actor is still missing, and the incident has the whole of Vinewood on edge. Justice News. Pedophiles are everywhere thanks to liberals, but a new program has law enforcement teaming up with a reality TV show to catch creeps. One FIB agent we met spends all day pretending he's an underage girl to attract perverts. Agent Rivera says the pressures of the work cannot be underestimated. Dressed in a short skirt and holding a lollipop, he said, I'm getting paid taxpayer dollars to pretend I'm a hot girl and chat with creeps. My wife says it's changed me. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. understands. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, you nailed that bastard. All right, go ahead. She's waiting for you right upstairs, okay? Bouncy, bouncy. All Tony, Tony, Tony. Hope you had a good time up there, huh? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Bit skinny, but not, not bad. Where you know her from? You, uh, you ain't the pimp type. Pimp? No, she's my wife. She's my wife. I left my first wife and kids for her. Best decision I ever made. Oh, fantastic. I mean, she's been the making of me. Whatever gets you off, man. Listen, um, if, if you're up for it, do you remember that house on Eclipse where I was standing out in front of? Yeah. You remember? Okay, okay. Well, that's that's my old place, and it, it's in foreclosure. But well, if something was to, to to happen in the place, you know, some gas gets spilled, I'd I'd still get the full value in the insurance. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I understand. I love you. <laughs> I'm I'm real glad that you fucked my wife. Jesus. Oh, by the way, there's a can of gas in my car that you can take, okay? Gasoline, check. <sighs> Just when I thought this situation couldn't get any more messed up, if I'd known she was his wife, I would... Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Tony, hey, hey, it's me, bud. Listen, there's a gas grill out by the pool. Now, you light that up, and I'll be able to see the fireworks from here. Now, you do this for me, and you will see just how grateful Mrs. Bernstein can really be. Leave it to me. Just feed her up a bit, will ya? How can it be wrong when it feels so right?
Okay, time to light the grill. Nice place, but give me the Billingsgate Motel any day. All for you, Mrs. Bernstein. You know, Trevor, you could just go to a prostitute. I should probably get out of here. Josh Bernstein, Realty. I hear that property on Eclipse is hot right now. Excellent. Let me speak to my better half about schedules, and uh, we'll get back to you. He's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock. Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor! I'm really not one for goodbye. What do you think he's doing? Well, it's a very big decision. Hello? Hey! Hello? What's happening? Who are you? I'm the man getting you from A to B. 
Uh, a being the trunk of this car, and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh, God, please, no! I, I, I have money on me! Lots of money! Good to know, Well, good to know! I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit! Shit! Please, let me go! I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy! those movie critics. Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up parlor games, the things that woman may be due to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy. Older women are to be cherished, like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? What about art? I, I got spit loads of art. I know you wouldn't want that. You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up? I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it! They're not paying me anything! Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person! Two, I understand that love takes many forms! And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces! I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before! I won't tell a soul, I promise! We both know you'll go straight to the police! I won't... I fucking swear it! I could give you ten thousand dollars right now. Well, here we are, Al. Curtains up. It's time for your final scene. Final scene. Sick. I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. L. Dinopoli. Train accident. Very sudden. I loved that man. We will remember him always. The way he was on TV. Before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. Taxi cab, please. Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Wonderful. Where you breaking headed? news. Aldenapoli has been murdered. Is your phone really more entertaining than your spouse? Actor Alden Napoli is dead. Found murdered in the most gruesome way Strawberry. imaginable on Good the thing, train man. tracks near the Palmer Taylor Power Station. Police say the investigation is ongoing. Phone news. Marriage counselors say that smartphones are killing relationships. As soon as she starts running her mouth, out comes the phone. I've heard all her shit before anyways, but Life Invader is new every few seconds. Life Invader is now the number one source for escaping your present reality, finding that girl in high school you always liked, and then ruining your marriage on a deluded dream. This was Weasel News.
people. Own it! What? I don't care what you say. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut. Just keep it shut. Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week. All right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you! Oh, let me take you away from all of this! You mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are... Completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it on the bike now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. Look at you. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. Look at my house. He's a goddamn nut job. Calm down, sir. If you could just give me a detailed description. <sighs> Thin, sallow, definitely an addict of some sort. He smells like he hasn't bathed in weeks. White, middle-aged. Sir, we're gonna need a little more to go on than that. I he's a white trash lunatic. I don't know what else to tell you. That describes half this town, Mr. Bernstein. Well, not the half that I live in, thank God. I'm president of a real estate company. You're set to receive a tidy insurance settlement on this property. Is that correct? What are you insinuating? Nothing, sir. Just trying to get all the facts straight. Oh, facts? You want facts? Look at my home! It's ruined! The home that's in foreclosure and you no longer live in. If there's anything else you can tell us, Mr. Bernstein... Look, you'll, you'll have to give me a few minutes. I'm too upset to think right now. 
Here he's right there. Tony! Where's your wife? You owe me. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house. Whoa, hey. No, wait a minute. You asked me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a, he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist. Yeah, get him. Freeze. Dumb move, Josh. You try to do a nice thing for someone. Take some time out of your day to pleasure a man's wife. Burn down a house. I don't know. Some people.